why a Christmas album? Because I love Christmas. Christmas is the best holiday. Uh, it has the best movies, the best music. Uh, you know, the atmosphere around Christmas is just fantastic. You know, it's a good feeling. It's a feeling of happiness, freedom, joy. You know, the sensation that everything is going to be all right. And to try to get that feeling into a, an album was something that I always wanted to do. I don't know all Christmas songs in the world, so I was thinking th this is you have created your own versions of these songs, right? Yes. Yes. So, so what is the process behind that? How, how does that happen? How do you start? Well, I come up with an idea that, okay, th this song, like Ghost of Marley, it needs to be very dark. Uh, so, so the music there needs to be very dark, but Christmas is. So that's the thing, what kind of Christmas melodies would work? So, for example, Deck the Halls. Yes, you made it a, a, a mi it's major and you made it a minor. Exactly. Really and good, you, yeah. Yeah, you put it in minor, but <laughs> also you drag out. So it's da 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 in that tempo. There, there are dark Christmas songs, you know. Yes. You know, a dark song. But then we have uh, "Oh Come All You Faithful," which is in the in the second song. The chorus is in the major and minor as well, but at the end it's in major. So you have the same melody, but it's in major. So it comes back. The the melody comes back, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I know this one." Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. You do have almost everything on yourself, writing the music, but at a certain point, are any other band members also uh, joining in the creation of the songs, or are they only joining when you start recording officially? Uh, this time, uh, Chris, the bass player, Chris David, he was participating in the songwriting for, uh, for one song. He came up with some ideas like, you, you can do like that, you can do like this, that would be cool. I... I tell everyone all the time, you have an idea mm -hmm. and we'll try to make it sound like a Majestica song and we'll, we can use it. So Chris came with an idea. And especially that first song, uh, I mean, it's, it's like a complete orchestra. How many keyboards does that take? <laughs> How do you do this? <laughs> I'm not, you know, I haven't studied classical music or anything like that. I used to listen to other, uh, other people, like a uh, movie soundtrack. I, I listen to those songs and I try to analyze what happens. Like there's on oh, this song, there's while well, there's the melody, there's a flute going in the background. And there's a, uh, while the melody is going, you know, with the string, high strings in another song, you can hear the bass going bum, 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 bum. A walking bass is like, okay, cool, I can use, do something like that. But you actually play every instrument with the keyboard. Yes. Wow. So this is a Christmas album, so that means that it was only suitable for like one, one, one and a half month in the year. So it, it, does that um, has, has a consequence that you, you will not be able to play this album live? Maybe not the entire album, but I mean, since we have other songs, we uh, can perform live during the summertime or summer, summer festivals. And I mean, if we play one or two songs from this album next year, if it yep. will happen, then I don't think it's a problem. What, what do you think you will be doing next year? Uh, writing more songs, uh, developing my, uh, my songwriting as always. What's really good talking to you. Good luck with everything. Thank and uh, and a very very nice Christmas, or how you say it in Swedish, good Yule, good Yule, or something like that. Wow, nice. <laughs>